Hey there, I'm Nadine Piet from Healthy You, Healthy Love, and I'm a coach for smart, savvy women looking for sexy, united love. And in today's video, I'll be sharing how to text in a way that creates a strong connection with a man. And a few of these tips may surprise you, so stay with me. Now, before we continue, please be sure to subscribe, click that bell button to get notified of my next hot topic, and be sure to comment below and tell me a little bit about you and your relationship situation. And please share this video with at least one friend in need of some support when it comes to life and love. And also, before I dive into today's topic, I'd like to add that I created another video a few months ago that explores the seven common attraction blocking mistakes women make when texting. That video supports this video, so be sure to check it out after you've watched this. You'll find the link below in the description. So let's get into it. Here are five ways to text a man to create a strong connection. Number one, be okay with texting. I'm not a huge fan of lengthy texting because I'm not a lover of being on my phone in that way. I'd rather talk and get a true idea of someone's energy early on. But texting is what people do now. So for the non-texters of the world, it's important to embrace it. You've got to get those fingers out and text in a way that gets his attention. Of course, once a connection has been established, move on to a call or a few calls that meet up. But know that texting is standard and part of the dating process. Number two, be different from the get-go. Don't open with hey or hi. Be more creative and write something that's specific to him. Perhaps ask him about his dog, ask him how his meeting went or about an interest of his and sure you can share something with him about your day that was funny, interesting or ironic, though at first try to focus on him. People like to feel seen and it feels good when someone is interested in us specifically. Number three, no long conversations. Let's not monologue in text. Texting is about learning about someone enough to see if you want to get on a call and then decide if it's time to meet them. It's a screening process, not the time to reveal all of your dirty laundry. This is not the time to write essays. This can feel overwhelming. In fact, I'm a detailed communicator in person. Via text, I can be a little shorter and when a man has texted me essays, it can feel needy, overly emotional and suffocating and I end up feeling bad for not replying with such great detail. Basically save the details for in person. Texting is designed for short form communication so be concise, don't overwrite and avoid big chunks of text. Number four, get to the date. To build a connection, you need to meet. Don't stay online texting for too long. Some men worry that they'll seem creepy or desperate if they suggest too soon to meet up. And this is why it's okay here for women to lead. If you don't want to run the risk of what I call fantasy dating, of creating expectation and an idea of the man and them of you before you meet, that normally sees people feeling a little bit disappointed. You've got to meet before the fantasy of that person is created. Now, now to number five, never try to force a connection. The quickest way to create a disconnection is to force a connection. Most men you chat to on apps or online will not be a match. And this is why it's so darn important to not try to make the wrong guy the right guy. I know it's easy to hang on trying to make the guy the right guy, but if deep down you know he's not right for you, it's okay. This is part of dating. If you're looking for love, you wanna find a real connection. And if it's not flowing, then it's not. Now to help you with navigating the early stages of attraction, I suggest you check out my free gift, five easy ways to get a man to commit and stay committed. It will give you great insight into how to navigate the early stages of communication and dating so that you can attract and captivate the very best men for you. Number six, sprinkle with some humor. Humor allows for bonding to take place, which means not only is it important to find humor in dating itself, it's also powerful to create humor with with a man. This will allow for a much deeper bond. Humor feels pretty amazing. Humor allows us to relax and when we relax, it's easier to connect. So be sure to add in a touch of humor in your conversations. The reason why I also said it's important to find humor in dating, because if we don't see the funny side of bad dates or even ghosting, we can become hardened and closed to love. We can start to expect the worst. So I encourage inside jokes, a little cute tease, not a put down. And remember people do find 
love regularly, so see the funny side of it all. Number seven, don't sweat it if he doesn't reply super fast. Keep in mind that he could be busy with his own stuff and he could also be messaging other people as well, which is part of dating. So don't pressure him or yourself to know all of his intentions too soon. Sure, you wanna be with a man who responds to you for sure, though do not flood their inbox. A rule of thumb is to never go over two messages, no message stacking, take a breather and wait for his response. And if he takes more than a day to respond, more than 24 hours, don't give it too much energy. If you haven't met yet, then this is not a big deal. If you've met, then it's perhaps time to let it go. Number eight, lighten up the messages. Humor is one way to lighten up messages, though sometimes for humor to be received well, you need some emojis. They help with conveying the mood and tone of your words. Don't overuse emojis. Emojis are not replacements for words. They help add context and emotion. Now to sum it all up, don't try to cram too much into your text. Keep them short and sweet and save the truly interesting conversations for when you meet in person. Don't be afraid to show initiative in moving the conversation forward to talking about setting a date. And at the same time, don't try to rush the Things and force a connection. If he's the right guy for you, it'll all come pretty naturally. And at the heart of it all, try not to overthink your text. Just honor you and be true to you. If you want to know how to overcome dating anxiety and fear that can ruin intimacy, and you'd like to understand how men think about finding love, then check out my program, Unlock His Heart. It's one of the most comprehensive relationship programs available that will teach you how to navigate all of the uncertainties that we can all face when newly dating a man. This program takes all of the guesswork out and allows women to date with a sense of ease and confidence that attracts the very best men. The link's right below in the description. Now before you go, please subscribe and press that bell button. Please comment. I want to find out about who you are and your feelings and needs. So please comment below and share this with at least one person you care about who would benefit from this video. It's been an honor to have you here with me and may you have the courage to date and relate with men from a place of honor and heart to attract great rocking love. See you next time.